This is a simplified approach to cough. If a patient comes in and says, hey, I have a new cough, the first thing you're going to do is ask the duration. Because most of the time, it's new, it's annoying, but if it's less than three weeks, it's considered an acute cough. And acute coughs are essentially always from infection. You do need to make sure that it's not a pneumonia, right? but for the most part, it's going to be viral. If their only symptom is cough, it's probably not fatal. So to help them get through it, you can provide dextromethorphan or benzonitate. Cough suppressants. This effectively leads to symptomatic control. You can throw some guaifenesin in there if you, they need help with an expectorant. And then between three and eight weeks is considered subacute cough. And that is always post-infectious. And treat them symptomatically. The point is, until you get to two months out, eight weeks of a persistent cough, you really shouldn't be worrying about anything. The patient may be annoyed, but the way this is really going to work is they come in with their first presentation, you give them some stuff to try, you tell them to come back in two months right, for the next clinic visit, and then you can begin the process. Because chronic cough is where you begin your evaluation. The first thing you do is look for something in their history that would cause cough. Are there already positive causes that you can act on? What I'm talking about here, ACE inhibitors, cigarettes. You should always be trying to get your patients to stop smoking. Of course, be careful, smoking cessation leads to eight weeks of worsening and may actually develop a cough when you stop cigarettes. Eight weeks after that, they'll be better. If they have an ACE inhibitor, change them to an ARP. If they have something in their history which is going to cause the cough, you already know they have it, you're not going to be doing this diagnostic work yet. So you look first for, are there ACE inhibitors or cigarettes? Fix those. If the answer is no, and the next thing you do is a chest x-ray. Because if you find something, it's a primary pathology. There's lots of tests you could do depending on what you find, but ultimately you're going to refer to pulmonary. The things you could do are barium swallow, bronchoscopy, endoscopy, laryngoscopy, sputum sample, high rad CT, and can't know what to do until the x-ray comes back with evidence of something. But at this point, if you say, ah, their chronic cough is from a primary lung pathology, get them to a pulmonologist. If it's negative, job is the internist can continue. Because then you start working on the big three. Asthma. GERD, and post-nasal drip. And one at a time, you begin empiric treatment for each. If one fails, you try another. If they all fail, and they still have a cough, and keep in mind, this means that you're going to give them about an eight-week course of each thing to make sure that they're taking it right. So you've already had eight weeks of them coughing, and now you're going to go another 24 weeks. You're almost at over half a year before you finally say, okay, we've really tried everything, now what? At this point, 
you're going to get a sputum sample and a CT of the chest. You start that pulmonology workup. If this is positive, the chest x-ray missed it, it's a primary pathology, refer to pulm. If it's negative, you say, ah, oh, sorry, man, idiopathic. Idiopathic, sorry, man, because nothing going to kill you, but we're not going to fix it either. And then, of course, you use symptomatic treatment. The idea of this approach is that acute coughs, as long as they're not part of a serious bacterial infection in their septic, uh, can be ignored, basically, by the physician. Treat symptomatically. They're probably infectious. You come over into three to eight weeks out, still the same thing. It's related to the infection. Here's some cough suppressants. When it hits eight weeks, that's when you start looking. Cigarette smoking, ACE inhibitors. If that's not it, get a chest x-ray. If you found it, refer to palm. If you don't, empirically treat asthma, GERD, and postnasal drip. If that doesn't work, now you're allowed. You've been doing this for a half a year to a year. Now get the sputum in the CT chest. If it's positive, refer to palm. If it's negative, sorry, keep doing what we've been doing this entire time, treating symptomatically. That's my approach to cough.